Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing gameplay with a full MVP lineup in NBA Live Mabel Season 5. Let's get into it. At point guard, we've got that 100 overall Stephen Curry. At shooting guard, we've got 95 overall Allen Iverson. At small forward, we've got 102 overall LeBron James. And at power forward, you've got that 97 Dirk Nowitzki. And then finally, at center, you've got a 90 overall Giannis Antetokounmpo. We're going to be doing some gameplay with this full MVP lineup and let's get into it. Let's start straight away with a three from Curry. He splashes that one. He's got 110 three-point shot boosted up a little bit. But all of these cars, they have won the MVP before in their career. And it's just going to be great fun to just do this. I thought, why not do it? I think I did do this like last season with a couple of other players, different players that we had in the game in season four. But this time I thought, why not do it again? Giannis dunking. He's got 100 dunks. Now I could have done both Giannis in the power forward position and the center position. But I thought, why not do Dirk? Because he is a little bit higher overall. Plus then we've got a full um, MVP lineup in that all of them are MVPs and they're all different MVPs. We'll try that off balance three and he sinks that one. He's got 106 three-point shot, obviously a little bit boosted there, but that Allen Iverson is pretty nuts. Let's see if we can maybe get a steal with the Iverson. We got Giannis falling over there. Let's get the rebound with Curry. Let's play LeBron James, 102 overall. Let's shoot this step back over here in the mid-range. Can he make that one? He splashes that one. It's a pretty good start to the quarter. 10 points already in the quarter. His mid-range shot's 108, which is just pretty nuts. But this team is pretty crazy. And we have got that Dirk Nowitzki, which we haven't scored with yet. So he's going to be the next one we're going to try and score with. We come up with a steal with Allen Iverson. Let's play Dirk Nowitzki. Let's get into that paint. Get the layup there. He misses that one. He's the first one to miss, but his layup is fairly low overall. Now, he isn't the master from, I think it was round two of the playoffs. He isn't that master exactly. He's the one before the master. So I remember you could upgrade him. I think it was to 96. He is the 94 overall, but boosted to a 97 overall. Curry missing that layup. Let's play it out. Dirk Nowitzki for three. Bricks that one. But we do get the rebound again with Curry. We're going to play LeBron James here in the corner. Can he make that shot? He makes that one, splashes it. Okay, let's run out with Curry. We'll try another step back here. Let's go in. Come out for three. Can he make that one? He bricks that one there. Let's come out with Dirk Nowitzki, see if he can make it. And he does. We're up 15 and 0 in this quarter, which is pretty crazy. We kept them to scoring zero points, which is pretty good in this game. Let's see if we can maybe get a steal and make sure they don't score in this whole quarter. We come up with a steal. Let's play Curry. Let's play Iverson up here. Can he get that three catch and shoot? He splashes that one. That three-pointer is pretty high and he is going to make that one. Let's see if we can maybe get another steal and maybe stop them from scoring right at the very end here. They're going to try fadeaway three and they miss. So this lineup is pretty good. We're up 18-0 in the first quarter. Let's see what's going to happen in the second quarter. Okay, let's play Giannis and try and get into the mid-range shot over there. He bricks that one there. He was off balance though. Uh, the Bucks last night, they played without Giannis and the Hawks played without Trey Young, but the Bucks managed to come up with the win. I think they won mainly because they were trying to head a lot more into the paint. And Drew Holiday, he had a big game from him, especially Brooke Lopez as well, getting into the paint, getting these nasty dunks. I remember one of the alley oops he did, which was pretty crazy. He had a big time performance for the Bucks, which is pretty good to see. And they did end up winning. So now they're, I think they're winning 3 2 in the whole series. I reckon the Bucks may win in six here. It'll depend if Trey Young actually comes back and plays for the Hawks, but we'll have to wait and see. Iverson again with that off-balance mid-range. He's knocking that one down fairly comfortably. But I reckon the final is probably going to be the Suns v. the Bucks. We'll have to wait and see whether the Hawks can pull it back, whether they can have another game like they had the one before last, because they were playing pretty well on that um, game before last when they were just shooting a ton of threes with Bogdanovich. He was shooting like a ton of shots there. Let's go up for the layup with LeBron James. He's going to make that one We're up to 24 points, which are pretty good. But then if the final is the Suns v. the Bucks, it's going to be interesting to see who's going to come out on top. Obviously, you've got the Suns. I really want Chris Paul to get a ring because he hasn't got one his whole career. And I think he really deserves one. And then you've also got Devin Booker, who also deserves one. So it is going to be interesting to see, especially if Giannis comes back. We don't know whether he will or not. We get another steal there. Let's play it up to Dirk Nowitzki. Let's try and find him because he hasn't had much of the ball here. Let's try and find a way to the paint. Spin move. Let's go up for that in the paint shot. He's going to make that one. He's got a fairly low inside the paint shot, but he will be making that one pretty comfortably. We're up to 28 points now, which is pretty good. Okay, so they make their first bucket of the whole game and it was pretty difficult shot there, but he still manages to make that one. Let's play Giannis. Let's play it out to LeBron James for three. He bricks that one there. I want to try and get an alley-oop here, but no one seems to be getting in the right position. Let's get it to Dirk. 
and he's going to make that alley-oop there. The pass and the layup are fairly low from both Giannis and Dirk, but they're still going to make that alley-oop. They've only scored two points this whole game, this other team here in the season's game, which are pretty good. We kept them to only scoring two, and now four points there as he makes the bucket there. Let's see if we can maybe get a buzzer beater with Curry, see if he can knock this three down right to end off the half. Let's do some dribble moves here, right around the three-point arc. Let's come back out. We'll play LeBron James, or we'll play Dirk here. See if he can knock down the three as the buzzer beater. He splashes that one. His three-point shot is fairly high for a power forward, which is always good. Let's hop on into that third quarter. But yeah, if you didn't know already, we have got a 4th of July promo that's coming on Sunday, I think it is. And we will be getting some sneak peeks on Saturday. So make sure you're subscribed for a video on that when the sneak peeks drop and when the promo drops so I can tell you exactly how you can get those masters when they do drop. But that's going to be interesting. All we know so far is that there's a Carmelo and Anthony. I think he's 95 overall. We got that in the sneak peeks last time. Um, if you haven't already checked out that video where uh, we got the sneak peeks for the live pass and the monthly master and that um, Carmelo Anthony, go check that video out now. That video is pretty good. We did manage to get that Carmelo Anthony, like I said. So it's going to be interesting to see what other masters we get from that 4th of July promo or whether that Carmelo Anthony is just going to be the only one. But I think because Carmelo Anthony was in the position where we normally see the store players, I think that's going to be a store player we get in the 4th of July promo. And hopefully the 4th of July promo is similar to, I don't know, like the Lightning versus Thunder promo, where we can get some free high overall cards because that's going to be pretty good for our teams. And it's just going to be good to change things up a bit because we've had this conference final promo for a very long time now, it seems. And it's just getting a bit boring because there's only so many events you can play. And a lot of people have already got that uh, Steve Nash, so they don't actually need to play it anymore. So we are really needing a new promo and hopefully that 4th of July promo is good enough to like fill that gap before we wait for a, hopefully a really good finals promo. But we'll have to wait and see whether that's going to be good. Hopefully it's not the same as the other ones and it's not like copy and pasted and it's like completely different. And then hopefully we do get a finals MVP card that is high overall because I reckon the next set of masters, if you didn't check out my last video where I told you how you can prepare for the masters, the next masters, they should be, I think 98 overall, maybe, maybe even 99 overall for their finals MVP. Who knows, maybe even 100 overall, but we'll have to wait and see. LeBron James for that mid-range, splashes that one because he's wide open. His mid-range shot is fairly high. Allen Iverson knocking down that catch and shoot there in the mid-range. It's pretty good to see. He is probably, I think he's the old monthly master. I can't remember exactly what month he's from, but he was a pretty good one and I was glad when I pulled him. I didn't pull the main like master version of him. I think I pulled the one below him. Let's go for another catch and shoot three. Bricks that one that time even though he was wide open, but he's a little bit far out. But his three-point shot is pretty good. We get the block with Giannis there on the buzzer. I was trying to shoot a half-court shot there with Curry, but we ran out of time there. We're up to 43 points. We're going to play a final quarter just to end off the game, see how many points we can get up to in the whole game. Let's go for Curry, wide open, and he's going to make that shot. Allen Iverson coming up with the steal. Let's run out of the court with him. Try and do a step back here. Very far out. Can he make that? He bricks that one, but he was really far out. We do get a steal with Dirk Nowitzki. Let's try and play it back to Curry. We'll go for Giannis for three. I think his three-pointer is fairly low. We do get the rebound with Dirk, so we're just going to knock the dunk in there. 98 dunking, which is pretty decent for a power forward. Let's go up for the dunk with Giannis. We come up with yet another steal. Let's go for the alley-oop with Giannis. He's going to finish that off really well there. But it is interesting that we haven't actually had any MVP cards this year. Obviously, you had Jokic winning it this year, but we haven't had any cards in the game, nor have we had any awards or anything like that. Maybe we get that towards the end of the season, but I doubt it because it is a bit, little bit late if we're going to get that. Because, I mean, the only award left to give out is the finals trophy and the finals MVP. So whether we get all the award stuff with the finals MVP, it will be interesting to see. But I don't think we will because it is kind of late in the season to be giving out all those awards. Because, I mean, the MVP was given out quite a while ago. Let's go up for another alley-oop. LeBron James knocking that one down pretty comfortably there. Let's go for that step back too. He makes that one. I was trying to go for the three there, but he was a little bit inside the line. Okay, let's play straight up to Giannis for the dunk there and let's try and get a steal and end off the quarter or end off the game really with a buzzer beater if we can get the ball here or if they shoot a, um, a shot pretty quickly. Let's see if we can come up with a steal. They're going to shoot the three and they miss. We do get the rebound. So let's play 
Um, LeBron James here. See if he can knock down a buzzer beater three to end off the game. Can he make that shot? Wide open and he sinks that one. 104 three-point shot. That's a pretty decent game. We scored 62 points with this full MVP lineup and it was a pretty decent game. Let me know in the comments down below whether there's any other types of lineups you want me to do gameplay with or anything like that. Leave a like on the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.